Okay, here uh, today I've got three different sauces that, uh, two of which I just bought today and then one I've had sitting around for a bit. Uh, so one that I got today is a Reaper sauce. And uh, I'm gonna give it a try for the first time. If I can get, <laughs> get my, seal broken on here. Oh man, so the, they really don't want you to accidentally open this. Alright. Give it a little shake. Let's go put on some uh, boneless wings. Alright. Go with the Reaper. Just gonna put a, oh God, that's way more than the dab I wanted to do. Well, here we go. Oh man. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty warm. See how this goes. So far, it's not unbearably hot. Give it a little bit, see if it starts burning. Yeah. And now it's getting in the back of my throat a little bit. Okay, it's, it's not as bad, at least so far, as I was worrying it was going to be when I first tasted it and the amount that I got in there. But, uh, yeah, well, I'll start opening the next one. I'll see if it continues to increase in the burning. Uh, so the next one I've got is a, it's Jamaican Scotch Bonnet Pepper Sauce. And I haven't had a, a straight scotch bonnet sauce before, so this should be interesting. I think I've got another sauce that has some scotch bonnet in it, but this one looks like it's primarily that. Let's see, I think uh, the ingredients... Uh, See, it's got water, uh, where's Scotch Barn at on here? Okay, yeah, so, uh, wait, is that see? Oh, okay, so it's water and then Scotch Bonnet pepper, so, uh, yeah. That's the second ingredient. <laughs> Looks a little liquidy, so I better be careful with that. Kind of like the last one that poured out on me. Okay. Well, maybe it's thicker than I thought. Oh, jeez. <laughs> right. Once again, more came out than I expected. Hmm. Got a nice flavor to it. So far, it's not really burning too bad. Maybe I built up my tolerance a little more than I thought I did. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's burning, but it ain't, you know, like unbearable or anything. Okay. Well, all right. Well, while that's going, my uh, third one, 
and I'm a little late to the game. I know now that Pepper X is out, but it's the old school Hot Ones Last Dab that I believe has Reaper in it. So, let's see how this goes. This is one I've been kind of holding off on for a while and waited all the way till there's a new one, which I guess I ought to get a bottle of that. But, um, give this a shot and see how it goes. I thought I had it. I end up cutting my hand off. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. Let's see how the last dab is. size one, size of the other ones, at least. All right, here we go. Mm. Mm, that's got an all right flavor to it. It's starting to kick in a little more. Okay, I think this one's got a little bit more of a creeping up burn to it than the other two have. Still, it's not like it's getting unbearable or anything. Yeah, a good burn on my tongue and kind of the back of my throat, you know, roof of my mouth to the back of my throat there. It's got some heat to it. But, yeah, uh, that's, I don't know, maybe I got more tolerance than I thought I did. That's kind of cool. <laughs> well, uh, Maybe I'll try one more of this Reaper. Yeah, the Reaper Sling Blade. Yeah, this one's pretty runny. This um, way more watery one. And it's uh, kind of scary to pour in there. Mm. Oh, man. All three of them have a pretty good flavor to them. Mm. If you want them to burn a bit, well, maybe I'll do another round of scotch bonnet. Yeah, the, the scotch bonnet really uh, doesn't sting, you know, like immediately or anything. It's uh, kind of just builds a little bit. I, could, I don't know. It's, it does hit different than the, the Reaper ones.
And those are pretty good. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna have to get the new Pepperix uh, Hot Ones last dab. I'll try that one out. Let's see how it compares. Yeah, there's a little bit of a little bit of afterburn from having all three of those, but yeah, nothing nothing serious. So yeah, that's all right. Well, that, <laughs> I guess I have been doing enough sauces that I built up a bit of tolerance because yeah, those aren't. Uh, hurting too terribly I mean they're they're hot and I might feel it a little bit later but uh, mm, excuse me I do have some food in my stomach so I mean uh, I know prepping for that's uh, pretty important I don't want to end up uh, getting nauseated and having horrible calf cramps but uh, yeah shouldn't sure. yeah I'll, I'll definitely be putting that on my food. All of them. Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, till next time, have a great night.